where I used to think is that horizontal meant high volume production and the pallet pool was just production, production, production. And something that really a shop our size didn't need or couldn't utilize. What I realized is my fundamentals could be altered and what the horizontal, the pallet pool actually offered us was a high mix, low volume solution. Hey guys, Drew Johnson with MDI Co. Been through a number of steps in my career, fabrication, very hands-on background, ended up in an engineering role, and we were trying to source manufacturing for a product. We couldn't find a shop to do the work for us, so I ended up bringing on CNC mill into my garage, and it was a TM2P, which is still with us here today. Fast forward a little bit, our manufacturing opportunity continued to open up, and we realized we needed to scale the business. Initially, our fundamental was do more of the same, and we were gonna get another vertical mill. After some kicking around, I started exploring some options and ended up with horizontal, so we could set up multiple jobs, switch between them. In our business, every three to four months, we might be running the same job over again. And we can reset that thing up, but we can have the spindle turning the entire time. So we get a lot of flexibility to run four of these a day, 20 of these a day, six of these a day, and we can mix that in to maintain our customers' needs. We got 100 tools in that tool changer, so we can have resident tools in there to support a number of different jobs. And it's really made that pivoting and running a mixed bag of product very efficient and very easy to, to move between. So that ended up what we, we started doing for our, um, what we call production, which is our 100 to few hundred to thousand volume of these mixed parts and are now up to three EC400s with pallet pools and found it's a very good mix to keep our production running. So we're at about six full days of runtime. And with that, we're able to, within the seven machines, we got four ST20Ys that are bar fed, and we're able to use one operator to tend all seven of those machines and keep production going. And we've been able to bring up some new talent. We have a group of young guys that are very inspired and motivated to learn and are coming in, some with very little machining experience, but excited about the industry. And we're able to utilize these team members and bring them up and put them in charge of these machines very effectively by using tool break detection. So there's not going to be a situation that there's a tool that's failed and we're starting to crash into parts and make a bunch of scrap. We're gonna alarm out immediately and we run that between every tool change and the little time that takes is well worth the good parts that we get out of the machine, the reliability we get, and the ability to not rely on a very experienced machinist here that you know something's starting to go wrong or we're up against something. So it's allowed us to leverage our equipment way more effectively. What we want to do is build relationships, understand our customers' needs, help them meet those needs and reach other opportunities. We've seen volume increase. We've deployed technology successfully so far to allow us to continue to do more, create more opportunity and improve our process. Those are fundamentals that we plan to continue as we grow. And Haas has been there every step of the way so far and they've allowed us to execute that.